Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Well, this here is my starter out of my 04 Ford Ranger and it's been failing recently, intermittently, in a very specific way. What's been going on is the starter gear hasn't been engaging the flywheel all the way and it's been making a horrible noise and I wanted to share that noise with you and go over what causes that. See if I can duplicate this for you. Now the way this starter is supposed to work is whenever the starter is engaged, this gear right here spins and spins out and actually engages the flywheel. The flywheel rides about right here in relation to the starter and the starter gear there. And when that gear comes out, it engages that flywheel and spins the flywheel, thus cranking the engine. So what was going on with my particular starter is this gear wasn't coming out all the way and fully engaging the teeth on that flywheel. It was actually butting up against the side of it and kind of grinding into it. If I would have let this go for a longer period of time, there's a good chance that I may have damaged my flywheel. So if you got this symptom, don't ignore it, don't let it go, take care of it ASAP, or you may end up with a ruined flywheel in addition to a bad starter. If you got this symptom guys and you go and replace your starter for this, be sure to check all the teeth on your flywheel. You have a full 360 degrees of teeth along the full circumference of that flywheel that need to be checked out. Now the way you can do that is you can look up into the, uh, the little hole there where your starter sits and you can rotate the engine gradually a little bit at a time while checking all the teeth on that flywheel. If you got damaged teeth on the flywheel, of course your flywheel is going to have to be replaced also. Now, don't misunderstand this video, please. I'm not saying that if you have this noise that you actually have a bad starter, and that's the only thing that this could be. If you have an older vehicle, you could have a, uh, a starter shimming problem that's causing a similar symptom. You could have something else going on with the flywheel. Maybe the flywheel is damaged, and maybe your starter's not necessarily bad. There's a lot of variables to this here. This is just one way that my particular starter failed on my Ford Ranger here, and I wanted to share with you the noise that it made and go over what caused it and some things to look out for. So this isn't a full-blown video on how to properly diagnose any and all problems with a starter. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. I may need to clarify some things. That's where I do that. And please read the disclaimer at the very end. Thank you so much for watching.